so hello everybody welcome back to another video and today let's see what are generics in typescript so i have a little example crafted over here for you what i do is i've created a function called generate array what it does it takes a value and it takes the length and it generates an array with the same value of that length that you pass it in and it returns that array so to demonstrate it we have this function uh, we call this generate array function we want five to be two times so this will generate an array like five comma five right and similarly we have this generate array function we call it again and this time we pass it the string hello there with 10 as a length so this will be generated like an uh, this is going to generate an array with 10 hello there's in it so let's let's run this and let's see what happens in our output so i console log both of these name array and string array and once i run this you see we got a five and a five and a hello there 10 times so that's what we do now the problem in here is that these arrays are not typed if you look at them this is going to be an array of any elements and this is also an array of any elements why because we take value as any now we want value as any type right we want to generate an array of any type that we wish for so what we can do in here is we can take in a generic a generic in simple words is a type that is passed as an argument now just as we take these two arguments we also take in the generic as an argument so generic is just a type normally a type that is taken as an argument so how do you do that well what you can do is you can serve this generate array function you can after the name of the function you can open these uh, angle brackets and you can give it a name so let's say we want it to be t and this is the most common name that we give to generics you can name it anything you want let's say i'm going to name it code and it will still work right but let's give it t for this t stands for type that's what we call it now this can be any type again this means any value of any type so once we get this nothing is going to change right because we are not using it as you can see this is grayed out and if i hover over it it says t is declared but its value is never read so what you can do is we can just go to value and instead of typing it as any we can type it as t remember what i said i said a generic is a type that's passed in so we are passing in a type and we use that type simple right now whatever i pass in as the value let's say this five this is a number right if i pass in a number you see if i hover over this function it says value is going to be number now right over here i passed in as a string and if i hover over this it says value is of type string so what we can do is we can pass in a type ourselves like after the function name we can open these brackets and i can call it a number so that means i want this to be a number now if i want this to be a string i can pass it as string and it's going to error out that hey you said this is going to be a type string and you passed in a number so i can pass in a string but if you look typescript is automatically going to pick up this generic and it's going to automatically pass that in so if you pass in the value as number it's going to be a number by default if you're going to pass it as string it's going to pick it up as a string now that is done but if you look we still get this thing called any array right that means that even though i have this generic in it and i use this generic as the type of my value whatever pass i whatever i pass in it still resolves into any array now how can we do that now as i said we take this value as t but in this example what we have to do is we have to if we look at this array that we generate inside of the function it's also any typed which means if i also hover now this is a really cool trick in vs code what you can do is you can hover over anything any class or function or whatever and then you can see what it takes in if i go to fill you see the fill method takes the fill method is typed like this array and we have these things right over here this basically means that we can pass in a generic inside of the array class as well and right over here it by default takes it as any because our value was any and now it's not but it's still we have to pass it in so what we can do is we can just go to this array and we can give it the generic so like this now as we did here we 
did here so we pass this as t so what it means is array dot fill is also going to take the t type which means whatever type we pass in here it goes from here to here and then it goes from here to here and so if now i hover over this this is not any array this is t array and t as i said is a type so don't get confused over that now going back if i now hover over into this generate array function you see we take in a number right the value is a number and the return type is also a number array so how did that happen well we pass in the generic st we get the value st and we pass in the generic again into this array constructor into this array class and that automatically resolves to t array and t array is basically whatever you pass in here so if it's a number it's number array if you pass in string it's a string array what if you want to pass in multiple types well there's a solution for that as well so i'm going to create a mix array just to show you an example and i can call this generate array function but right now if you look closely we have the value is going to be unknown that means the type of the value is unknown we don't know what will be the type of the value unless we pass it in manually if i pass in five you see it resolves to number but what if i want it to be either number or a boolean right how can we do that well it's uh, pretty simple so let's go down there and what we can do is we can pass in a generic as we did here in the array constructor in the array class i'm sorry we can pass in a generic like this and we can call this we want a boolean or a number right so we can say it's going to be number or a boolean pretty simple and now we have given it a type instead of inferring the type this is called type inference typescript automatically infers the type if you don't want to pass in a generic but if you have complexities like these you can pass in a generic like this and now if i go ahead and let's say i want to pass in true and i want true to be 20 times right there this works but if i pass in a string let's say i cover true in quotes this is going to give me an error why because i want it to be the number or boolean right so let's see what happens if i uh, console log the mix array and take everything out let's run this again and you see we got true 20 times that's interesting i can also pass in a number called 20 now 20 will be printed out 20 times right so let's just go ahead and run this here we go now these are 20 20s that's it for generics let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below i will try my best to reply and give a solution to that i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and finally thanks for watching